Okay, here we have some algebra questions, expanding brackets and factorizing. We have a mixture of levels here. I've put it all under level 7 grade C because the last question is a level 7 question, grade C question. Um, but for a lot of people, all algebra could be considered to be level 7 grade C because they find it really tricky. Um, but we'll start with this uh, expanding the bracket. Obviously, if you haven't had a go at this, it would help if you had a go first before I go through it. So please pause the video and try it now. Okay, expanding a bracket. So expanding a bracket means to multiply out. This value in front of the bracket means, uh, with nothing in between it and the bracket, means you've got to multiply the bracket. Now this is this is a, a quite a tricky version. If we had two lots of x plus 2, that wouldn't be too bad because there's two lots of that bracket. That makes a lot of sense. That would just be x plus 2 add x plus 2 because you've got two lots of x plus 2, which would be 2x plus 4. But this is x lots of x plus 2, which makes it more complicated to understand what's going on. But essentially here, all we need to do is learn the method for this. Now, the key thing here is to remember we've got to multiply the x by both things. We start by doing x times x, which hopefully we know is x squared and not 2x. And then we do x times 2, which is 2x. And that would be our answer. Quite often people forget to multiply the second one and just do the x squared and maybe put plus 2. Um, or some people may mess up with the x squared. But that's how you would expand that bracket. When it gets onto more complicated brackets, I would suggest you use uh, one or two methods, which we'll come on to in a minute. Um, question B, factorize. That means to put the bracket back in. So expanding means to get rid of the bracket. Factorize means to put brackets back in. So we're trying to put a bracket back in. Because this is a minus sign, it's going to be a minus sign in the middle. Now we've got to see what goes into both of these expressions. So is there any letters that go into both? Well, there isn't because there isn't any letters here. So there can't be a letter. So that X is going to stay in the middle. Now, when, I, when I'm doing this, I'm thinking about what um, the biggest number that goes into these two things are. And the biggest number that goes into 15 and 10 the only, no, only number other than 1 is the number 5. Now I'm thinking about what do I need to multiply 5 by to get 15x? Well, 5 times 3 is 15. So if I want 15x, I need to have 5 times 3x, because 5 through is 15, and there's the x on the end. What do I need to multiply by 5 by to get 10? What I need to multiply by 2. So 5 times 2 gives me the 10. The minus is in the middle. And that would be the answer to that question. There is one mark for um, you, you get, if you have the five on the outside and you get one of these two things wrong in here, then you would have one mark. But you do need to have an X there. Um, part C, um, expand and simplify a double bracket. Um, this is where algebra actually starts to, to come in to be a little bit trickier. Now, I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. One you might be familiar with if you use a grid method for multiplication. And if I just separate the two brackets out, so I've got x plus 3 on the top, x minus 4 on the side, doesn't matter which side. Then I can see when I multiply these things, as x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x, minus 4 times x is minus 4x, and minus 4 times 3 is minus 12. And I can see the key thing here, it's got four parts, and I'll explain that and why that's important in a minute. So we write those down, we've got x squared plus 3x minus 4x minus 12. So there's one mark for getting to that point, and it says and simplify. And the reason why it says simplify is because these two things in the middle usually cancel down. You've got to be careful not to think the x squared adds on to these x's or to do too much simplifying. It's just these two in the middle that go together. 3x, oops, no plus there. Um, let's actually rub that out. So we've got 3x minus 4x, which is minus 1x, or minus x is written correctly, and the minus 12 on the end. Another way of doing it, um, some, pe uh, some people learn a method called FOIL, or as I like to call it, the smiley face method. We have a little smile in the middle there. And then you have sort of like an eyebrows going across the top like this. So it looks like a, somebody with a big smiley face, big ears, and so on. Um, it's also called, called FOIL because you do the first two, x times x, which is x squared. 
Then you've got the outer two, x times minus four, which is minus four x. Then we've got the inner two, three times x, three x. And then we've got the last two, three times minus four is minus 12. So the first, the outer, the inner, and then the last two. And that just reminds us there's four parts again. And we still get the same answer, x squared minus x minus 12. Now the classic wrong answer for this is to just do two parts with the x times x to give x squared. Okay, this is not right. And three times the minus four to give minus 12. And unfortunately there's no marks for that because that's totally incorrect because you're missing out two expressions in the middle. Okay, so that's some grade E all the way up to grade C algebra.